Welcome to Waking Hope, nurturing healing and opportunity to find your purpose and better me empowered lives. We are now entering an hour of growth, light and love. I'm Christine Vibrant, and together we will delve into what makes you, you, and learn that you can and should love yourself and how better me empowered living can access these and more. You are more than the sum of your body, your mind, and your spirit. Find yourself as part of the divine. Find healing, rest, and positivity for yourself and the entire world. Waking Hope starts now. Good morning, everyone. Christine Vibrant welcoming you to Waking Hope, a podcast and a talk show about bringing hope up into your life how to wake it, how to use hope, how to step into your better me, empowered life, and access everything that is available to you when you have tips and tricks to calm you down, to bring you back to yourself when things just feel a little bit too much and life becomes turbulent. Now, today's episode is all about grounding yourself, not grinding your gears. And we are coming to a resolution solution in this episode. I am sure that many of you by now have gone through your resolution lists. Some of them were made, possibly most of them were made with a lot of strong emotion. Whenever we come to the end of the year, we have that collective energy that comes up and can carry us along on a wave of emotion and energy that we may not be comfortable writing. Maybe you love it. Maybe you're really thrilled by this. People that generally ride energetic waves out in style and grace are those who have wonderful grounding practices. And it is vital to implement a daily practice for your grounding or at least come to an understanding of what your instinctive and intuitive needs are to ground. Now, why is this important? And how can we ground? What do I mean by that? It's very, very simple. It's an instinctive thing. I want you to think of a moment that was quite scary for you. A moment when you got quite a big shock, heard some shocking news perhaps, Somebody acted in a way that created a lot of energetic vibration within you. And if you can remember, one of our first reactions to a shocking event is usually, <gasps> and what are we doing? We're taking a beautiful deep breath because instinctively, when our body steps into fight, flight, freeze, flock, or fawn, all of those different ways of coping with a stressor there is a lot available to us to help us calm down in that moment, to take that second and look around. Is there a lion or a bear or some immediate physical danger that I do need to run? Or is this an emotional threat, perhaps a perceived threat? Something that is coming up, maybe from the past that is unresolved, or maybe it's something new that you're experiencing, a new experience, a new interaction. And so taking a deep breath gives your body that chance to tap into all of who you are, to give you space to trust yourself, to access the things that you have already learned through everything that you have accomplished. And this is where grounding practices are very, very special and are going to be unique to each person. Everybody should have a grounding practice. There is no person on this earth who will not benefit from some form of grounding or other. And it can be something as simple as waking up in the morning, rubbing your hands together energetically, and then putting them on your face. And I challenge you to do that. I invite you to do that. In fact, this is quite a fun thing to do. If your hands are clean, please make sure that you have clean hands for this. You're putting them near your face or on your face. Take them and rub them vigorously until they're nice and warm and tingling. And you can feel the energy moving in your fingers. And placing them on your face brings all of that wonderful energy to your body. And you can tap in 
and take some deep breaths as you wake up and get back into your body with a smile on your face if possible. Remember, how you go to sleep at night is started by how you wake up in the morning. And so a daily grounding practice is really gonna solidify this in. Why am I bringing up sleeping and sleep routines when we're actually talking about resolutions? Well, we talked about that emotional component, didn't we? And emotions can get in the way if you let them. Grounding helps you to sit with your emotion and to understand what it was. And so let's go to those resolutions that you had gotten ready for the new year that you were all excited about. And I want to ask you with no judgment at all, but absolute compassion and love. How's that going for you? How are your resolutions going for you? This comes in with my usual question of how have you shown yourself love today? A beautiful way of showing love is a grounding practice because these practices really tap into all of who you are right now, right here. We're not looking at the past. We're not worried about the future. We're just being present with ourselves. Taking a nice breath. And if you are stressed, please remember that you're usually breathing up here. And so what we're going to do as we show love, and this is a technique I love to teach. And in fact, I have this on my YouTube channel. Go ahead and check out Christine Vibrant on YouTube. I'm building a channel with lots of tips and tricks to help you. But this is a great practice for grounding. When we're stressed, when we wake up, and the first thing that comes to mind is everything we have to get done. Everything I have to get done today. And there's a million things and I'm already going and I'm wired. And I haven't even gotten out of bed yet. My body doesn't feel solid. My body doesn't feel grounded. I don't feel aligned in that moment. And I am actually setting myself up for distress, not success. I'm in control of that, though. I have those choices. And so I choose to give myself, to gift myself a few minutes throughout the day for these moments of practice. And this is what coaching is about for me. When I work with my clients, whether it's an intensive and a mini intensive, whether it's a shorter program or our fantastic 90 day programs, our inevitable success guaranteed 90 day programs, we go through grounding practices all the time because we are going to be releasing energy and emotion as you try these new things. I bet as you've been trying out your resolutions, things have come up, haven't they? Change is not going to be as simple as making a choice. The choice is the key. Change is the action that you take and the small, simple steps that create this inevitable success. Small, simple steps. We're back to grounding again, aren't we? And so a beautiful way to ground yourself wherever you are, whether you're lucky enough to be in nature or have a plant companion as I do, whether you're at home, at work, stuck in traffic, taking an exam, meeting up with someone that maybe isn't your favorite person in the world. There are some really simple ways to get through this. And this is something that I taught my phlebotomist. So those of you who are nervous about blood draws, by the way, pay attention. This applies to you too. If you're like me and you struggle to get your vein, we're going to do some breathing. And I'm going to show you just a really simple, basic, beautiful grounding technique that is accessible and free. I want you to notice where you're breathing. No judgment. And it's probably up here. Most people throughout the day are going to find that they're breathing up into their chest, right up here by their collarbones. And this is already a very energetic area with your heart and your lungs and your breathing and everything, your brain going in and this energy going in and out. And so we need to bring this breath down. Taking a hand and getting comfortable with your body where you're breathing. I want you to give yourself permission to relax. We're going to take a minute and a half, perhaps two. And you can take as long as you want. This is a demonstration. Please don't judge yourself if your breathing isn't spot on right now. But this is a practice. And when you're comfortable where your hand is, I want you to bring your second one below it. And get comfortable and breathe into that area. 
and just bring it down gently, calmly, without effort, with ease. We're releasing. And I'm going to scoot around a bit so I can show you the next. And so here we go. Bringing the hand below it. And this practice is also really beneficial if you're someone who has had a lot of uncomfortable circumstances with your body, discomfort. I'm someone who's had a lot of surgery. And so my body does tend to get stressed out when there are a lot of demands. And physical touch is a beautiful way to remind my body that she's safe, that she's cared for and loved. Bringing the hand below. We've got one more hand. See, we're going below. And as you continue this breathing practice, just breathing in and out very gently, you'll begin to notice how your body relaxes. And as you start to release the tension, lower and lower, have some fun with it. I'm going to teach you a bonus tip here. When you want to ground, and if you're having a really hard time, we can breathe and bring into contact our own body with ourselves. We can also get our vagus nerve activated. And this is a good one. And it's just as easy as breathing out vibrationally. <laughs> Getting some form of vibration around your lips will help you access that vagus nerve as you're releasing, as you're breathing, as you're calming. Now, I hope you're feeling better. We're going to take a minute, a few minutes for a break. Before we go, I have a little feline companion saying hi. Daisy's come on to say hi, as she does tend to do. I want you to take this breathing practice into the break. And I want you to keep in mind that this is accessible to you at any time. Check out my website beingbetterme.com. Shoot me an email, christine at beingbetterme.com. I'd love to hear how this is landing for you. When we come back, we're going to talk about how to ground those resolutions in using the things that are getting in your way. Christine Vibrant, out for a break. When we come back, let's really lock in what you want to achieve this year. Welcome back to Waking Hope with your host, Christine Vibrant. And we're talking about grounding yourself, not grinding your gears. We're especially talking about resolutions. And as we're heading into the year, getting into, you know, heading into March, getting into when it's what the windiest crazy season in like a lion out like a lamb. This is a great time to revisit those resolutions you made. And I want you to kind of sit as we've done with our breathing exercise before we took the break. Bringing our breath down, getting in touch with our body, soothing ourselves, getting that tension and judgment that gets in the way out. I know you know what I mean. I know that you have stepped into those resolutions with absolute courage and bravery and resilience and love for yourself. How you show yourself love is by choosing the best version of you and prioritizing yourself and showing up for you. And resolutions are definitely a way to do that. Here's the thing. If change was easy, we'd be doing it all the time. If change was easy, you would already have done the thing that you want to do. Life gets in the way. Change was easy when we were children because we didn't have that much to really concern ourselves about. As we get older and we accumulate more responsibilities and more things, and more life experience just as that, change can become more difficult to implement because there is more of you as your, ego, as your ego form, as your personality, that can get in the way. And this is where your emotions are really, really your superpower. Breathing techniques are great for dealing with emotions because emotions can come up. And as again, I remind you, I've said this before, emotions are energy in motion. And it's a moment and it can feel a lot. I am not dismissing anything and I'm not judging your emotions. We're letting that go. We're not judging how we feel. These are our markers. These are our guidance. This is your tool to understand who you are, 
why you're wanting to implement this change and which version of you is getting in the way. And perhaps it's a little bit of stinky self-sabotage. And perhaps, sadly, it's a little bit of sabotage from the outside. When you do step into change and you do step into transformation and you begin to take the choices to be more than what you've become, those around you who want the same, but perhaps don't share the same level of resilience and courage or perhaps self-love that you do, we're all learning at different stages, will get in your way. And this is not to blame or shame. This is just where they're at. So meeting everyone where they're at, meeting yourself where you're at, requires you to sit with those emotions. And this is where the grounding comes in. Your emotion to get that resolution set up was a good one. And I want to hear about it. I want you to email me, christine at beingbetterme.com. Because here is what I'm giving you. Everybody who enter, everybody who emails me about their resolution and lets me know what's getting in the way is going to get a curated little video clip, a little reel from me, specifically designed for you and this item that you're bringing to my attention. Everybody's going to win in this way. I am going to have a winner of everybody who is going to get a free session with me, a grounding session. And this is a powerful, powerful tool. I'm also going to be gifting that person a Larkovite bracelet to kind of work with your grounding tips. But I want you to email me your resolution, christine at beingbetterme.com. Email me what has been coming up and getting in your way. And there's no judgment. Trust me, I have gone through this myself as a life and health coach certifying really taught me where I was going right, what was getting in my way, and how much I really do trust myself. And this is where stepping into resolution, grounding it in and actually accomplishing it is going to teach you that level of trust as well. That level of trust in yourself means no matter what comes next, you're going to step into it. This is your Better Me Empowered Life key. Are you ready? This is what we're going to sit with. Getting excited about a change means that you love yourself enough to say, I'm okay as I am right now, but things could be better. And I'm excited to see how I can make that happen. I know I can. I trust myself. I've created immense change in my life. Some of it didn't work out so well. And that may be what's getting in the way. When we have fear and shame and guilt and judgment that gets in the way, these are really low vibrations. And in fact, Dr. Stephen Hawking wrote a book about this. Shame comes in at the lowest vibration on the human energy scale, and it is essential to get this out. Shame is going to get in the way of all of your joy and all of your celebrating. And that's another way to get into this. When you're sitting with your resolution and the things that are getting in the way, I want you to sit with that emotion, and we're going to flip it. Just as the image you're seeing of me right now requires your brain says Dash, requires your brain to flip it the right way around to make sense in this world. So do I want you to understand that whatever you're feeling has the potential of an opposite. So let's sit with that. When you're getting upset about the, about the resolution not working out, let's say it's a weight loss journey and this is just not working. In fact, everything's going in the opposite direction of what you want. Oh, cringe, not what you set out to do and that can demoralize you. Let's just scoot that out the way. We've got the breathing to calm ourselves down, to open up space within our body and to release rigidity. Now we're going to sit with the emotion and go, okay, you're actually my friend. You're my best helper right now. What I'm feeling is this, that I know Christine told me, and this is true. I can feel it in my own body. I can go and look at this. How you do one thing is how you do all things. People, I want you to know this. How you do one thing is how you do all things. So as we see things upside down in our brains, flip it around for us. What you're feeling in any moment has the potential of an opposite. Write down what you're feeling about this resolution. Pop it in that email, christine at beingbetterme.com. Write this down. This is a great grounding tool because when you sit with these emotions, you give yourself that chance to reprogram. When you're sitting with the emotion instead of reacting to it, you're giving your higher self, the version of you that you're striving to know better and become more of, a chance to work with you. Remember when we sit in meditation, we've talked about it. Meditation is listening. Prayer is asking. Meditation is listening. 
sitting with your mindfulness, sitting with your knowing that whatever it is that's getting in your way has the ability to actually boost you. Pop that in the email. Let's really sit with that. Something that we're going to do for that is movement. And movement in your body can be humming, singing, dancing, shouting. If you're having a tough day, grab a pillow and scream. Please don't take it outside. You do not need to be getting unnecessary attention. Grab a pillow and scream. This is great. Don't take that scream outside and physically or mentally scream at someone. That's not worth your time or your energy. Release it here. If you're someone who has chronic illness and chronic pain and getting up and moving around, it just feels too much. I've been there. I've been there. I've been there. I've been where it's taken days just to be able to walk around my house without crying in pain. I've been there. You deserve to live beautifully in your body and you have access to it. We're going to do a hum right now. And we're going to do an intentional hum for our root chakra. Our root chakra. Grounding. we got to make sure it's nice and open. Breathing into your bum, as I always say. Breathing down. Breathing it. Bringing that breath down. Getting into your root chakra. We're going to hum as low as you can. Hum. Hum. And you can feel, you can hear restrictions in my voice. And that's because I do have tightness. My fascia bands are tight. And this is where we're going to bring movement. So let's do this. This is going to sound hilarious and funny. Bear with me. You got to love yourself. Ha, ha, ha. If you do these motions, ha, 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 or la, la, la. Again, we're tapping into the vagus nerve. We're using breath. Ha. Bringing it down. Christine Vibrant here with you, waking hope, tapping into our bodies and our natural ability to ground within ourselves. You've heard me take my voice down. And we're going to use the word lum. 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 This is taking a lot of courage from me, by the way. Lum. Oh, I'm feeling everything relax. Lum. Feeling that strong emotion that's getting in the way of your transformation. What's getting in the way of your resolution? You've heard me do this. I want you to do this with me because I tell you what, just those few lums really relaxed my lower area, got the fascia bands relaxed, got the muscles relaxed. My whole body is feeling completely energized and loose and ready for what I need to do next. Let's take that nasty thing that's getting in the way and let's lum it together before the break so that you can do this during the break and I can take a minute to laugh at myself after this is done or with myself. Let's get that strong, nasty thing that's getting in the way. Have you got it? Is it handy? Is it sitting with you? All right. For me, it's doubt. Mm, that's a nasty one. I'm going to sit with my doubt, my nasty, stinky doubt, and then we're going to lum it. Are you ready? reminding your hands, reminding your body. You can even sit on your hands. That's a great way to get in touch with your root chakra. Sit on your hands. Are you ready? Here we go. Lum. Hold that heavy emotion. Lum. What's the opposite of it? Lum. The opposite of doubt for me is faith in myself and trust. Lum. And already feeling wonderfully relaxed, wonderfully calm, aligned, and ready to step into that faith, to trust myself with what I'm stepping into next. I'm really excited to hear about how this is working for you. Don't forget that email, christine at beingbettermeet.com. Shoot it. Shoot me that email right now during the break. We're going to take a minute, take a few minutes to pause. During the pause, I'm looking forward to your email, your resolution. What's not working for you? What is the emotion coming up and how this lum worked out for you? And we'll catch back up after the break.
and welcome back to Waking Hope with your host, Christine Vibrant, as we talk about grounding yourself, not grinding your gears. Stepping into New Year's resolutions can be a fantastically exciting time, and it can be disheartening when it doesn't work out the way you expected. Mostly, this does come to habit change, and creating new habits can feel wonderfully invigorating, and when you put them into motion, things come up that get in the way. And this shouldn't stop you. This should never get in the way of your transformation. Everything that comes up that feels like a block is in fact an indicator of a lesson that needs to be learned, unlearned, or something that you didn't know about yourself. Approaching change with curiosity, compassion, love, and a little bit of silliness is a wonderful way to tap into your higher self, step into your better me empowered life, and really ground in those changes that you want to see while at the same time letting go of what's holding you back. Before the break, we talked about emotions and how emotion is energy in motion and how feeling what you're feeling without judgment is a wonderful way to actually access more of who you are as you empower yourself into your desired change. Now, sitting with this can feel very energetic for you, and that's why we practice bringing the breath down and getting in touch with ourselves, getting in touch with the root of ourselves, the root chakra. This is a really important item to understand, and there have different names for it. There are different ideas about it. You know, we, we talked about people being uptight, you know, um, anal retentive perhaps, The root chakra comes up in different aspects of healing the body. It also, very interestingly enough, correlates with the fascia band in that exact area. And so as we have fascia going up and down our body that works with our muscles, and this is a beautiful, beautiful um, way of healing that I'll be talking about in a future episode, the fascia band can be restricting everything that you should be stepping into. And your root chakra is where we feel fear, where we hold shame, where we dwell when we're not feeling safe or secure. And sometimes this is a physical thing and this does need to be addressed. But if it's a habit change thing, if it's a personality or an ego item getting in the way, we can really work with it and release. Grounding yourself with music and musical energy is important and accessible to you. And this is what the YouTube channel is about, Christine Vibrant. This is going to be dedicated to silliness, to humming, to dancing, to moving, to showing you how to do it when you have chronic illness, chronic fatigue, chronic pain, and to show you how to do it when you are accessing your body and you're able to be one of those people who can do all the things. Stepping into change, a lot of people tend to overdo And this is something that comes up with me, every single client. And it's something I want to share because on the journey, it's a 12 week journey on the 90 day program. And in the first week, everybody tries to achieve their 90 day goal. And I love seeing it, but I always want to caution you. Stepping into change is going to feel thrilling. Absolutely thrilling. You've got that emotion behind you. Emotion is feeling great. You're energized. You've got all of those wonderful chemicals that are all going in your body. You've got serotonin. It's great. And then life steps in and it can get harder and harder, but that doesn't mean you drop it. That doesn't mean that you stop doing what is so important to you. Self-love and self-care starts with you choosing yourself. And self-love is in a lot of ways, giving yourself the treats, but mostly self-love is saying, I deserve to get out of my way. I deserve to use what I have to elevate my life. And I can do that. Christine Vibrant said I could. And so here is a beautiful way to ground, and this is why you need to do it. When we are feeling stress and we're feeling anxiety and our minds are everywhere and we're not in alignment, we're not grounded, we are actually full of free radicals. It is a buildup of static electricity in our body that carries a positive charge. This is also exacerbated by these items, our computers, our phones, all of the items, electronics around us, creating more and more static electricity. And this is why grounding is important. The planet carries a naturally negative charge. 
And if you can take a few minutes a day to step outside with your bare feet on the grass or in the sand, if you're not comfortable with that, go and find a tree friend. Here's something interesting. Go and find a tree friend and place your hands on that tree every day, every single day to be grounded. This is a beautiful way to do it. You can even level up that feeling of release and grounding by bringing an intention with you. I have a tree friend that I greet every day, that I take my daily highs to, hi, hello, how are you? And it's a beautiful and interesting relationship because we can see the seasons change as we are. And so we know change is inevitable and change is always around us. We are change. Having a tree friend brings you into contact with a being who experiences change just as you do, but in a slightly different way and with a different energy. And it's a beautiful, beautiful relationship if you're open to it and if you're open to being playful because it's a reminder that we are all connected and that we're all part of each other and that when you ground, you're tapping into the healing energy of this earth. You're letting go most importantly, of the items that you've been given, we're talking about those free radicals and that static electricity that are harmful to you, that aren't benefiting you. As we move throughout our lives, we give and we receive, and it's this ebb and flow. And some of what we give is intentional and beautiful, and some of what we give is unconscious and nasty, and that is the same of what we receive. It's not always your fault, that things happen the way they did. But it is your responsibility to make it right and to repair. Whether it was with yourself or the other person, you owe yourself that peace. And grounding is going to give you access to that peace. So again, getting into your body, moving around, shaking it about, you're going to start noticing that the tight areas in your body will start relaxing, that you'll feel more available to yourself, that those moments when you wanted to react and get angry, and feel upset are going to be reduced and less and less and less. And this is just simply because you're taking a moment every day. I challenge you to level it up. Start with a minute. Start with those few seconds of rubbing your hands together and placing them on your face and taking a few deep breaths. Maybe your daily practice can be how to bring your breath down. It took me a while to do that. And that's how I learned to use my hands one beneath the other as I got comfortable breathing past the restrictions. And I had a lot of restrictions in my body because I had so many surgeries and I had so many organs being lost. And so this is why I know this works. Using your voice, using your energy to move your emotion around is going to make you a powerful being. This is where the magic lies in working with your emotions and grounding yourself gives you access to working with it, not them working you. We all know we have those moments, whether it's exceed excessive joy, excessive joy. You can't help it. You're screaming, you're running, you're making, you know, everybody around look at you because you're ah! those moments, those little cliches. We all have those. Just as we have those moments of energetic exchange that make us act in ways that we regret later on. Grounding yourself is not going to magically erase this, but grounding yourself is going to give you space and a moment and less of a reaction and more of an intentional navigation of what you're experiencing. And this is where your resolution is going to stick. Again, I want you to email me, christine at beingbetterme.com. I want to hear what your resolution is. I want to hear what's getting in the way. Because we're going to ground this in for you. Remember, everybody who emails me is going to get their own little curated clip from me about their resolution. And the winner is going to get a grounding session with me, as well as that really beautiful little Larkovite bracelet to um, lock in your grounding and to remind you that it is important to ground. When you step into accepting all of who you are and meeting yourself in the moment, you can let go of the past ang past anxieties and depressions that are, sorry, past depressions getting in your way. You can get low of the, let go of the future anxiety getting in your way. Christine's getting excited. This is the speech impediment coming up. 
I'm really excited about this because this is where I have uncovered the magic in my life. This is how I have been able to step into my better me empowered life. This is how I have taken those days of being unable to do much more than move from the bed to the sofa. When I was so sad and I thought that I had nothing left to live for because endometriosis and adenomyosis and all the comorbidities had taken so much from me that I felt life was over. And then I chose myself and I chose my healing and I chose to accept my instinctive needs and I listened to my intuition and I practiced my grounding and I found what worked for me and I did this on a daily basis and every time I feel a spiral I ground in some way this is the magic this is what you are able to do as well I'm looking forward to hearing from you before we take a pause I'm going to remind you again Christine at beingbetterme.com. Email me. I want to hear from you. You will hear from me. We're going to have a winner announced. Before we take this break, though, I want to know how are you feeling about stepping into making your resolution actually work? Like what's coming up? Sometimes what gets in the way is that we're afraid of how powerful we really are. We're going to take a break when we come back. We're going to step into using that power and creating a life you didn't believe you could possibly live. Christine Vibrant, Waking Hope, taking a break. Welcome back to Waking Hope with Christine Vibrant as we're talking about grounding yourself and not grinding your gears. This episode has been really special for me to bring to you because, again, we're talking about your resolutions. We're at the end of February. You've had some time to work through what has been going well and what hasn't. And I've reminded you and asked you to email me, christine at beingbetterme.com, with your resolution, with what's working, what's not, what's getting in the way, how these grounding techniques have been making you feel. Everybody who emails me is going to receive their own special curated video clip from me with a little answer and some tips. And the winner is going to receive that wonderful grounding session with me and a Larka bike bracelet. We've talked about using your body and using your voice and lumming and humming and dancing and moving and heading over to YouTube channel Christine Vibrant for tips, tricks, laughs and more. Here's something that we haven't discussed yet. Grounding yourself with nutrition. As a certified health coach, I, I carry a dual certification, which is great. Certified life and a certified health coach because life is health and health is life. We know this. Anyone who's dealing with chronic illness, chronic fatigue, chronic pain, when your health is gone, your quality of life is blown to smithereens. You deserve better. And this is why I'm here with you today. I have had my own health journey and through all of it, I have discovered how much grounding we can have through nutrition and being aware of how nutrition can help us feel better in our bodies. Are you ready? The first part, hydration always. Know your hydration equation. If you do not know your hydration equation, open your ears right now. I'm going to tell you, write this down. I want you to take your weight in pounds. I want you to have that. And those are the amount of ounces I want you to drink of water. It's going to change. Your eight glasses of water and my eight glasses of water are going to look different. Chuck that equation out the window. It's got to do with your weight no judgment, complete love and compassion, accepting and meeting yourself where you are right now. Secondly, let's talk about magnesium. Let's talk about B12. Let's talk about vitamin D. Let's talk about vitamin C. These are items that you are really needing to flourish and to live well. And we are deficient in a lot of these minerals and these vitamins simply because our soil, our ground, the very earth that gives us life is being depleted by our habits, by environmental degraders like pesticides. So let's stop killing our earth. Let's learn about organic farming practices. Let's learn to support our local farmers markets because when you choose the best nutrition available to you, you are leveling up. B12 does not come from animals. That's the secondary source. They get it from the dirt. B12 comes from the dirt in the ground. So when your animals are out there grazing, that's what they're eating. Your magnesium comes from the dirt in the ground as well. And we're all deficient in this in some way or another. Well, I say all, that's a generalization. Most of us are. 
And this is what is going to help you relax. It relaxes your muscles. Magnesium is such an underrated health benefit. And this is why I offer magnesium topicals. I don't think I have available one. I don't. Magnesium topicals because they're a great way for self-care. Here's a scary stat. Most patients are not compliant with their doctor's orders. In fact, less than 50% of patients when they go to the doctor will complete the course of treatment, mostly because we don't understand why we need to do it. And you're taking things inside. I have found that when you're using products for self-care, it's a lot easier to have that daily nutrient-dense benefit. Why? Well, our skin's one of our largest organs, isn't it? And this is a really great way to get something directly into your bloodstream without having to bypass your liver and your kidneys and your digestive tract. This is why a lot of medication is topical, in fact. And so I want you to really pay attention to what you're putting in your body, on your body. This means what you're listening to, what you're holding on to. The stiffness in you, you're not releasing. Grounding yourself is important. Using care products such as I have, these are really interesting. These come from Turkey. And these wonderful soap products are made with organic products, organic items, the olive trees from the forest where the manufacturer lives. It's a beautiful, beautiful way of self-care. Whether you purchase from me or not, I always want you to know this. Look at your labels. Understand the ingredients that are in them. Grounding practices and self-care are important. For a lot of us, we are alone in the shower. I know some parents aren't, but here, listen, hear me out. When we're alone in the shower, when we're alone in the bath, water is a great cortisol reducer. That means it's a great stress reducer. It's a beautiful way to release your tension. Stepping into excellent self-care when you're in that shower is a beautiful way to ground and get back into touch with yourself as all of the negative is washed away. Using these movement techniques with whatever works for you is a beautiful way to ground. Nourishing your body with vitamins that are clean, not full of fillers, choosing the best that you can afford right now is going to elevate your life and really help you understand how uncomfortable you have been. I know I did not have a clue of how tight and restricted and tense I was until I was relaxed, until I was able to release, until I learned to let go of what was getting in my way. And that took practice. It's not going to be easy the first time. Just as you tried something new the first time and you sucked at it, you know, that very first time you had to apologize to someone that you really didn't want to, and it felt really energetic and awful, but you did it anyway, and you pushed through. The second time you do something, it's a little easier. And the third, and the fourth, until it's just what you do. This is your better me empowered life. This is what all of you are capable of, every single one of us. And so as I talk with you today about grounding, about your resolution, we've talked about quite a lot of items that we can access kind of instinctively. Your food is a beautiful way to ground. Your nutrition is a great way to ground. Self-care is a great way to ground. I'm very curious how all of this has landed with you. If you haven't already done it, shoot me that email. Let's talk about your resolution. Let's talk about what's getting in the way, what has worked. Maybe you've got something to tell me that I haven't experienced yet. And I'm curious about what is going well for you and what's getting in the way. Let's really connect about this and get your resolution locked in. Let's get that change going and make it inevitable. Remember, everybody who emails me, Christine at beingbetterme.com is going to receive their own unique little video clip. And the winner is going to have that wonderful grounding session with a Lockerbite bracelet to lock it in. If you're curious about more techniques that I haven't mentioned today, head over to my YouTube channel, Christine Vibrant, and I'm building that with lots of little affirmations and some meditations, some grounding techniques. And we're going to explore this method of healing ourselves and stepping into the Better Me Empowered version as we go along. And I'm very grateful for you today. I'm grateful that you were here. And I invite you to stay tuned. 
I've got some very special guests coming up next month. And as we continue into the year, we're going to be going from waking hope to walking hope. And as you know, every bit of motion starts with the smallest possible step that you can take. If the smallest possible step you can take is staying tuned to this podcast every second and fourth Thursday of the month, that is enough. And I'm grateful that you are here with me. As we go into our day, thank you for spending time with me today. I hope that one of these grounding techniques, if not more, have really resonated with you. Take it into the day with you and be curious about how these and more will help you stop grinding your gears and instead ground yourself into the most aligned, better me empowered version of yourself. Christine Vibrant, wishing you love, light, peace, happiness, and lots and lots of laughter. Enjoy your beautiful, beautiful life. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode. Take care. Have a beautiful day. As this hour of Waking Hope comes to a close, I hope you have been lifted and strengthened. I hope you have turned your pain points into power points. For more love and healing, tune in again the second and fourth Thursdays of every month at 8 a.m. Pacific time. If you can't wait until then, reach out to me at beingbetterme.com and we'll come up with a plan together to awaken your hope, supercharge your healing, and bring your world back into balance. Until next time.